what is up ladies and uh, dickheads how you guys doing today out doing a classic video today i got the at and tip cam we haven't used the at and tip cam in a minute because there's really no reason for me to bring it doing uber eats but um i missed the grom i saw the sitting lonely with a tear in its eye in the back of the garage and i went ahead and dragged it out by its asshole and here we are oh my god that burger king Oh, I got a couple behind the scenes stories to tell you guys about. Ooh, look at this alley. A little, a little lively today. Is that a dog? Oh, it is a little dog. It's a little puppers. Damn. You have to have some balls. Oh, God. I don't want no alley water on my feet. Ugh. So, that Burger King back there, I had an Uber Eats. So, lately, what I've been doing. And uh, I kind of just been forgetting to put my camera on because I was thinking about like filming them and making little Uber Eats videos, but um, I've been putting my phone active next to my next to my keyboard on my computer so when I'm out or when I'm at home, orders can come in and I'm not riding around willy-nilly wasting gas and just sitting with my dick in my hand. Ooh, what happened here? And uh, I've got I gotten a couple orders. Actually, I've done quite a bit of orders where I'm not filming. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that's happened. So I got my first two fucked up, like where I fucked the orders up, like the food uh, on a delivery. So one was that Burger King we just passed. I picked up a I picked up a meal and it had a Coke. And homegirl's fucking Coke flew out of my cup holder when I was riding there. And just bashed open and spilled all over my DR200. And it was like a disaster. And I ended up going to a Burger King closer to their house. Because they had me delivering in the north of the city. And I went to a Burger King that's like way up Kindle. Which is kind of a ways from where the lady was. Not a ways, but you know, just a couple miles out of the way. And, uh... I told him, I said, hey, I don't know if they put the lid on the right way and that the soda fucking buzzed open and they were so nice and they just gave me a free soda. You know, they, they, I, I, I was actually, because I felt bad, I was actually just going to buy it. If I, if I had to pay for it, I would have just took the fucking hit and I was just going to get them a new one. And uh, thankfully they just gave it to me for free and I was like, oh, thank you. And then, and then this one, this next one's kind of worse. Oh, and then lady, homegirl, like, she kept the tip. I let her know what happened and everything. I was honest with her and everything. And she was totally cool with it. And she was, like, appreciative that I filled her in, letting her know and everything. So, that was cool. And then the second one, this one's kind of the Chinese food spot fault because I've never had any other place have this happen. But I picked up some Chinese food and it was, like, you know the bowls you get and they got the clear tops that kind of click on the top? Well, they got some like junk ass containers at this at this Chinese food place that I picked up and um, I went and got this bowl for the dude and guess who it had to have been too? Well, the guy that works at the McDonald's historic museum that I've done like three videos at so unfortunately like the guy knew who I was and everything but he couldn't have been any cooler so I fucking uh so I get him a bowl of food. It's like some, you know, rice bowl with like food in it. And next thing you know, I get to deliver it to him, and my heart sank because I fucking I pull it out of my bag, and all I feel is food in the direct bag, and his the lid popped off, and all the food spilled in the fucking bag, and I felt absolutely terrible. And I let him know, I was like, hey man, uh. <laughs> You're, this thing like came undone in the bag and like I've literally never once had this happen before and he was so cool he's like oh it's okay it looks like it's all still in the bag and he just dumps the food from the bag back in the container and he was cool and he even left he even still gave me his fucking good old tip and uh man like but I felt so terrible even though they were cool with it and everything I felt so terrible I kind of do wish I was filming those trips because you guys I know you guys probably would have got a massive laugh out of that. Just like me when I had that Cardenas delivery and I, dro I was dropping the fucking plates and shit. Oh, let's do a mystical flute man check. But yeah, I've been meaning to like re start recording when I go out and all these orders, which helps because I can just come home and fucking uh, just put the battery back on the charger. Always go out with a fresh battery for each delivery. But I just kind of forget. I've just been doing them willy nilly. 
Oh shit, he's here. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. How you doing? How are you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you. Yay, looks like he recognizes me. Maybe he just got here because he doesn't even have his back end open yet, up yet. I could have been taken two different ways, but... Oh, shit, they cleaned it all up. Holy fucking shit. Look at this shit now. Oh, my God. Oh, it looks like he's, like, putting his, like, registration sticker on the back of his car or something. Oh, was it dripping right here? The fuck? Bro, it's dripping out of the concrete. There's like nothing for that to be dripping for through. Yeah, today's too nice of a day for the mystical flute man not to be here, that's for sure. Oh, you know what else is probably out? Like a trout eating sauerkraut in the gout list, and then no doubt, the hookers. Let's do a let's do an at and tip hooker check. Oh, this guy's got his whole asshole out. Bro, pull your pants up, dog. Pull your pants. What the fuck is that? Guy? He's literally got his full pants down, itching his raw asshole. <laughs> Alright, seems very much so. This is the main street they like to hang out on. It used to be this street. And like around this area. Dude, I never in a million years thought would think this Greyhound station would shut down. But you know what? It couldn't have been in a literal more ghetto area. Possible one right there. It's like noon right now too, so dudes could be like searching for some lunchtime pussy right now. Well, seeing that a cop just rolled through the street, they must be uh, on hooker enforcement. Which would make sense, because I think this looks like it's some sort of like an elementary school across the street, so... Kind of weird for hookers to be chilling on elementary school streets, you know what I mean? Kind of odd. I wouldn't be doing that. Can you imagine having to be a, a baby born from a hooker getting cream pied by like just some random dude? That'd be horrible. Wow, no hookers out today. It's Friday at like noon. It's like almost 70 degrees out. Damn, bro, isn't... Wouldn't grass be a lot more comfy? Oh, I guess he is on a blanket. Bro, wow, they've a number on this park. I think I think just putting all this gating around it did a big job. Like a, a good job on keeping it kind of like people out of it. Even though it's not like it's hard to go in there or anything, but... Oh, there's a big open gate right there, so maybe not. We're kind of built up against the gate now. Oh my god, it got so bad through here. Can I even go through here? Look at all this fucking garbage. You can't even go through right here. Bro, what the fuck? Dude, look how sad this is. Huh? Yeah, you watch them? You watch them? Oh, hell yeah. Well, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Dude, how sad is this? Imagine an old picture of, like, your mom kissing you. December 21st, 1996. This is somebody's picture from 1996. Bro, that is absolutely fucking sad. And then I got somebody's kids, kids' pictures right here. A random pink, like, Jordan or some shit. Dude, look, it's a bunch of people's, like, baby pic. Look, there's one right there, too. Wow, that is fucking sad. Somebody's, like, family pictures are just scattered outside of this fucking lake right now. Hey, take it easy, man. Well, the lake definitely upped the... Like, this was a whole fire right here. Somebody just lit all that shit on fire. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He had a big-ass fucking pole in his hand. 
You could have just fucking slammed my fucking cock into the dirt. Let's go see if Mystical Flute Man's playing yet. I need, I need to hear some notes coming out of his skin flute. I see a dickhead. Oh, there's all those bikes that we saw. Oh, there must be something over there. Man, I would love to just have a conversation with this guy. I think he's one of the coolest people in San Bernardino. Let's do some at and tip up top and then come back down. If we'll catch him playing. Oh, I almost got fucking car park jizz on my fucking face. Oh, I did! It's on my visor! Fuck! Bro, I literally got car park jizz all over my visor. What the fuck is that? Is there a person in there? Oh, there is a person. Oh, that's creepy. Let's do an at and tip cam observation. All right, we got Omnicunt. Damn, they got some nice bikes. What is that? I can't tell what that one is right there. One of them look like an yeah. One of them's like an FZ09 or seven, and the one looks like a CBR. It's got the back tail exhaust. That's like a brand new one too. It's either a 1K or a 600. I want to I want to say some nice bikes. I wonder where they went. Hey, God bless, brothers. God bless America. A bunch of people just sitting out front, jerking each other off. Damn! Look at the mountains. The mountains look fucking beautiful in the background. Look at that shit. That's kind of beautiful. Look how clear it looks up here. Look, you see the houses from down here. That's kind of wild seeing the houses up there from downtown San Bernardino with the at and tip cam. Oh, I think there's like a piece of metal right here. Oh yeah, there's wire right there. I'm so shocked they're not doing anything with this building yet. Like, I'm, I'm sure they're not even demolishing it. A literal old Radisson hotel. Like, dude, just think of all these empty hotel rooms in there. I know there's got to be crackheads in there somewhere. Well, I thought there was a broken window, but it's just the top of that light. Mystical flute man. Oh man, 
Even his warm ups sound beautiful. How you can tell I'm going up and down some scales and shit, and even those sound gorgeous, man. Mystical Flute Man's literally uh, just a perfect human being to me. I love that guy. Yeah. Damn, what's all the SPPD doing here? There's like four units right here. Oh, they're inside that building, probably clearing it together. <laughs> like someone fucking ripped the doors off that thing and they're just clearing the inside. Oh, look, all these are blown out too. Man, motherfuckers just be ruining everything out here, aren't they? Damn, if I saw that open too, I'd probably be like, I'd probably go explore inside there too, but looks like the cops beat me to it. Oh, they got these ones detained. Damn, the whole inside is just thrown out. Dude, that big pile of shit right there, that was literally like fucking bums throwing shit from out the window. That's fucked up. I like how I can see, still see bullet holes in that wall from that bank robber shootout. Alright guys, well my fucking battery's gonna be dying here, so... Hey, thank you guys for watching. Wanted to throw a nice little random video in the mix. I feel like all I've been doing was Uber Eats videos, even though I know you guys like them. I just want to do something a little different today, because the Uber Eats videos, it's not... Sometimes they're kind of hard to make because I'm just not getting that many orders in and then my batteries die, all that bullshit. But I'm going to start making them while I'm at home taking my orders and just start recording for each order and then go from there. So, hey, as always, all links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. Get on my shirts, uh, follow me on Twitch, um, whatever it may be. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the out of that like button and you guys have yourselves a, a real good day and i'll see you guys later Twill.